Okay, I'm gonna do a live blitz game. Haven't done one of these in a while. Um, also, haven't actually been playing much live chess in a while. So we're just gonna see how it goes. Got a five minute game. Gonna open with good old d4. Can't beat d4. I've been playing knight f3. I, I feel like it gives me a little bit more options. Um, c4 right away. It's kind of committal, maybe. Um, I'm sure people would argue with me, but, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I, I kind of like playing knight f3 first. Gives, I, f I feel like it gives me more options. But, hey, you can think what you want. Um, playing some sort of semi-slav. Uh, kind of boring so far. Pretty typical move order. Should I push e4? Can I do that yet? Let's see. It's got. I think I'll just. Why not push e4? That's what I want to do. Uh, yeah, better take it, or I'm gonna fork you. Um, Pre-move that. Okay. Well, now I got some lines for my bishop. Do I want to pin? I want to throw a nice little pinaruski there. Any tactics? I feel like there's going to be some tactics he's going to go like... I don't know, he's hitting my bishop. Should I just drop the bishop back? Is that like the more... Hmm, that is tempting. I think I'm going to pin it. Oh, does he have like a sack on? I'm going to pin it. I think that seems like a natural move. Get my last piece developed. I don't know if that's wrong. I haven't been playing much chess. So I might... I'm not, I'm not too sharp right now. I haven't been playing in about a month. See what we're doing. Um, a little bit up on time, or he's a little bit up on time. That's what I thought. He's gonna go for that h6, and I think I'm just gonna maintain this. Pretty much have to if I want to keep my bishop alive. I really, uh, I really should either back my bishop up on next move, or maybe go rook, rook e1, throw a defender on there. Cause I don't, I feel like he's gonna push. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I was thinking was gonna happen. Now, what should I do? I could play knight takes, and I think that's what I'm going to play. Because if he plays pawn takes, bishop takes, I'm maintaining the pin. And, um, then his king's wide open. I think I got to go for this. And now if he plays knight takes, I can play knight takes. Oh, but wait. Then my bishop hangs. Okay, so he went for this. I think that was, I think actually knight takes bishop might have been good for him. Um, okay, there's got to be something here, right? Look at these bishops. All up on his king. He's got a wide open king. Maybe move the bishop over. Attack the rook. Uh, my bishop's hanging. I can pick it back up with check, right? No, he plays. Knight blocks, takes, takes. Um, hmm. I feel like this is such a critical position. I can either just back up my bishop. Maybe that's the more mature move. Or I can play takes. Bishop takes. Come in with a check. He blocks with his bishop. Do I have anything? Queen h5. Retin mate on h7. Can move the rook to get out of there. I think I'm just going to back up. Because I'm completely safe. Um, he doesn't have any threats. His light square bishop's boxed in. You know, he's going to have to push like e5 here. But he can't do that without me just taking. Uh, he has up a pawn. You know, he, he's got uh, the p. He's got the knight for, uh, for two pawns. There's king pawns. Or pawns in front of his king. I miss playing chess. <laughs> I took a whole minute. You can see here on the right. I took a minute, a second, point one. Okay, and he played his king up. Probably going to play his rook. Now, now if I play knight takes and he plays bishop takes and I check, he can't block with his bishop. So I think i got to go for this right now. Because I don't want to let him get his rook in the game. Now I can play. Oh, he can block. Okay, no, it's fine. He could block with a bishop, but then I push pawn because uh, my pawn will be attacking his bishop and it's pinned. So I think this might be a little bad for him. Because let's see. Um, Got to go somewhere on the h-file. 
and I've got a check. And then I'm coming to H7 with check. Can I mate him here? Is there anything for him to do? Because even if he comes up to H, H6, I've got queen, queen H3 check. He can come out, but I wouldn't recommend that. And then he's just going back here, and I'm mating on H7. I think I might have him here. I think that king up was a bad move. I think, uh, I, think I might have him. And this guy's pretty good rating. I mean, fifteen, fifty-six. I mean, that might that might not be good for a lot of. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's pretty bad for other people, but for me, that's. I mean, this guy's playing at my strength, and I'm not that great of a player. Okay, he's thinking a lot. I think he's realizing he doesn't have a lot of moves. Okay, he's he's sacking the bishop. I think, yeah, I mean, what else are you going to do? Now, I don't think I want to play my f-pawn up, because then he could play queen takes d4 check. So I'm going to play this, my h-pawn, and get this bishop back. Oh, okay, counterattack my queen. So I can, play, I can just play queen takes bishop check, trade queens. And I'm up two pawns. Two up two pawns for one ending. Uh yeah, we're gonna go for that. And then I can always defend my pawn with my with my uh F pawn. Yeah, so we'll just back that guy up. And look at his poor light square bishops. <laughs> it's nowhere to go. Oh man. Um okay. How else can I bring the heat? Okay, bring the king up, gonna slide my rooks to the H file, come down, give him a check. Um, let's just say block that for now. I don't want to tie my bishop down to defense. And then here we go. I'm going to start infiltrating. He might... Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, no. Don't want to do that. Open up the rook. Do I just trade him? No. I think I'll come here, threaten the pawn to take with check. And if he takes, I still have the file. Okay, so he backed up. What can I do? Uh, what to do, what to do? I'm running out of time. Buzz. Less than a minute. I better... I better move. I'm doing this with the thought of bringing my rook to h3. But I don't know why I didn't just play rook h3 right there. If he takes, I end double my pawns. Uh, I guess I'll just take that. Go here, threaten to fork him right here. Fork the king and the bishop. He's going to have to do something. Again, if he takes my rook, i got to take it back. Um, and then if you... Okay, so he saw that. <sighs> I'm gonna run out of time. Let's just threaten to double. I don't know what to do. There we go. I got so I undoubled my pawns. I got the only op completely open file. Thirty seconds left. Um, with good play, this should be a one game. I just gotta play quick. It might be a little tough. Oh, I just sacked a pawn because I didn't know what to do. Okay. He might just try to play quick and beat me. <laughs> oh. What to do, what to do. If I can just get these this H pawn rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, he just forked me. Oh, he missed it. He had to fork my king and bishop. See, now I can move my king in and add some support. Oh, this is stressful. King up. He's got 37 seconds. Can I pull this off? Okay, 
let my king come in. You might you check me with the bishop. Push. <laughs> Oh, I can take this pawn. Oh, his time's coming down. 19. Uh, take the pawn. I don't know. Take another pawn. Pawn's a pawn. <laughs> uh, check. Attack the rook. Take it. Block. Defend. Go. 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 Check. Take the bishop. <laughs> He's got nothing. He's got nothing. <laughs> oh, one on time. I was one away from queening. Okay. All right. That was fun. Always good to see a time scramble with a win. Okay.